Hi, in this video, I will show you how to export this data grid to the Excel file from the Blazor server app. We use the Microsoft OpenXML package. This is the Excel file that I exported. But before we start the demo, let us understand a little bit concept of the package OpenXML. OpenXML is a package that created by Microsoft. This is SDK and provides us the tools for working with Office Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents. A spreadsheet document consists of workbook element. Workbook is the root element for the main document part. It contains sheets element. A sheets element can have multiple or single sheet element that reference the worksheets in the workbook. Workbook at least contains a single sheet, a sheet ID, and a relationship ID that points to the locations of the sheet definition. Let us open this link. It is Microsoft documentation for OpenXML. Scroll down to bottom until you see this sample code. It is the code for create the blank spreadsheet. We will use it and modify it in our demo. Let us open Visual Studio 2022 now. This is the code for the application that I show to you at the beginning of this video. We initialize the list of animals in the oninitialized async function and then display it in the table grid here. Now, let us add the button here to export this table grid to Excel file. Let us go back to Visual Studio. Add the export to Excel button here. We use bootstrap button style. Add the bootstrap CSS class. Add the onclick method to export to Excel. Implement the export to Excel function. Now, we will install the NuGet package OpenXML. Right-click on the project, select Manage NuGet Package. Search OpenXML, install the latest version. Click on Install and Apply buttons. It is successfully installed. Close the Manage NuGet Package tab. Open the counter components and copy the render mode statement. Paste it here. Open the Microsoft document and copy the code that I show you before. Paste the namespace here. Copy the method body. And paste here. I forget to add the at symbol before using the namespace. Let us scroll up and add it back. We will create the spreadsheet in the memory and download when users click on the export to Excel button. So we will create the memory stream here. Create the new variable for sheet data. Copy it and paste here. We will add a header row and the data rows into this sheet data object. Create the header row here, and then append this header row to sheet data object. Create the header column name in the string array. Each row has cells. We try to create three cells and append to header row. Create the for loop here to initialize each cell with the column name and append each cell to header row. Initialize the header cell here. Define the cell type to string. Assign the cell value. A 
append the cell to header row. Append the header row to sheet data. Now, we will create the data rows here. Since each row contains the cells, we will create the data cells here too. We will create the for loop to initialize each cell by copied each item from the animal list to the cell. Here is the animal list that we define at the beginning. Initialize data row and the data cell here. Since there are three columns, we define three cells here and then assign the value of name, gender, and age to each cell. Initialize first cell. Define the cell type to string. Assign the value to the cell. and then append the cell to data row. Do the same thing for other two cells. Copy it, paste it to time here. Change the cell index. Append the data row to sheet data. Finally, save the spread sheet document. Now the spreadsheet is already created in the memory we have to inject this JavaScript download file function to our application to export the Excel file from memory stream. Let us right click on www root floater, add a new folder, call JS. Right click on the JS folder to create the download JS file. Open it and copy the JavaScript code that I show you before to here. Go back to home.razor page. We have to reference this download.js file to this page. In order to call the JavaScript download file function, we have to inject the runtime. Scroll to the bottom. We need to invoke the download file function. Copy the function name and paste here. Enter any Excel file name that you want. Convert the binary array of memory stream to base64 string. That's all we need. Let us press Ctrl F5 to compile and test the application. The application was compiled successfully. The browser is open in my other screen. Let me drag it here. Click on the Export to Excel button to test it. Now, the Excel file was downloaded. Let us open it. You can see the data was successfully exported to Excel. That's all for today. I hope you like it and learned something from this video. 
In next video, I will show you how to add the background color to the cell. Don't forget subscribe my channel please. See you in next video.